Good morning. It is now day two in Wales. I'm gonna go to Snowdon this morning. Um, it's about quarter past seven now, so hopefully we get there before nine. Fingers crossed we get a parking space. Finally, we're packing and leaving. How is the head, Ryan? <laughs> Good morning. It's nine o'clock. We couldn't get this parking spot because it's so so busy. We've <laughs> driven down the road and parked there and fingers crossed everything's gonna be fine. We're not gonna get towed, not gonna get the fine. And we're making our way back up to Penny Pass to start the hike. One hour later. We've made it and we are now going to do Walkie walkie miners. The miners. Just to let you all know, I forgot to say back there, at the car park, Penny Pass, there is a cafe and there is toilets and they're free to use. And there's like, obviously if you wanna get a bottle of water and stuff in the cafe. And yeah, I'm already out of breath. Oh, we've done about two minutes. Hey, for the sun. Let's go. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear me, but I'll give you a few things I've learned about Snowdonium. So one is, is that it is it has the highest peak in England and Wales. And that's the one that we're gonna climb Snowdon. And on a very bright, clear day, like today, you are supposed to be able to see, I believe, England, Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. So Fingers crossed for that when we get to the top. So far, pretty easy high because it's mostly been flat. But now we're starting to descend, so I don't know, I'll check in, I'll check in, in a little bit. Beyond the stars, out where the sun sets, we'll find the light, we'll keep it our secret home. Anywhere you want to go. We stopped by this lake for a little bit of lunch and so that I could fly my drone and as soon as I sent the drone up the winds changed and it had to come back down again because they were way too strong. So unfortunately I didn't get a lot of drone footage but at least I got something. It is literally brushing because I'm out of breath, but apart from that, thanks Lee, but it is absolutely stunning. There's a waterfall here that could compete with Bali and there's just lovely, lovely little lambs and sheep everywhere and I'm not sure how much further there is to go, but I'm guessing it's a long while, but it, we're not finished yet, but even halfway through I can definitely say it's worth, it's worth the hike, it's worth the energy. And then once you think like you've burnt all these calories and you've walked all this, treat yourself, have some fish and chips, have a pint, have a cocktail, treat yourself. We're just taking a little breather. I put sun cream on at 7 a.m. and I probably should have topped it up like an hour or two ago. So beautiful. So nice, highly recommend it. Staycation for the win. One has a way to carry everything. 
Everyone has a soul, so let it shine How are you finding it, Lee? Oh. <laughs> so, we're actually at the top of the waterfall, if you can hear it. It's amazing. Hey. I know we said we'd do the bridge, but I need to just stop. Godly, okay, Jesus. We're almost, almost at the top. There's just that little bit to go. But this is ten times harder than I thought it was going to be. A few sketchy moments. Are we severely underprepared with the water that we packed? We should pack way more water. But I think we're almost there. Praying there's trains operating to get the train down. I don't know. We'll see. I'm so. I, my arm is literally trembling because. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm tired. I've eaten like one thing today. Um, I've drank like feckle water, dehydrated, but it's still worth it. I can't even talk, I'm too tired. And here is the start of the steps to the summit. We did it! Yay! Lee, Lee and Ryan were just waiting on Zoe and Connor. We climbed it. I'm not getting in the queue. There's a massive queue to take a picture at the summit and I just don't have it in me. And that's the summit up there. Is the view from the top. Sometimes it's hard to go. So I can see the sea is like over in that direction. And it was sunny earlier, but now it's really cloudy, so I can't see Ireland, but I will happily tell you, I will not be guiding you this ever again. I literally feel like I'm about to collapse. You made it! Well done. Ryan made it look easy. Didn't sweat at one. I'm gonna sign off here and probably see you back at the car. Hopefully we get to do the secret infinity pool. I'm not too sure, but I'll see you back at the car. I'm not gonna film the vlog, the hike down, just cause it's uh, just wrecked and just a bit dangerous. Okay, see you back then. And we've just come back down the miner's path after almost like seven or eight hours of walking and hiking and climbing. We're almost at the finish line. Um, and we've all developed what Lee has named hiker's hands. Look at my hands, they are literally like sausages. That's not normal. My hands are swollen, Lee's hands are swollen, Zoe's hands are swollen. So if you know what that is or if hiker hands is a thing, comment below. I've just realized I forgot to sign this vlog off. But yeah, a little update on what happened during the walk. I didn't realize who we got home. I have gotten so badly sunburnt on my legs. I didn't bother putting sun cream on my legs because they never burnished put it on my arms. I'm in so much pain. The whole back of my legs is like scalded. And this happened. Let me show you this. This blister. Yeah, Snowden was agony. Absolute torture and agony. But it was amazing at the same time. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I say that because I never planned to do it again. Only once in this lifetime. But if you are in Wales, definitely you should do it. Miner's Path, however, is not for beginners like I thought. I would stick to Land Barris if you are a beginner and you have no experience because that was terrifying climbing up those rocks. I didn't vlog going down. I didn't vlog the kind of hairy parts because I, I, I just couldn't. It was so, I just needed a full concentration. Okay, so this is really unfortunate, little side bit. We had actually parked right by the secret infinity pool and I've been wanting to visit that ever since I found out we were going to Wales. I actually spent two hours on Google Maps finding out the exact location. I really, really wanted to visit it, 
but after seven hours of hiking, sunburn and blisters, I, just, I couldn't bring myself to hike up anymore. So we unfortunately didn't do it. I don't think we're gonna to get to do it. I might actually insert a clip to show you what we were supposed to do. Um, you'll see why I'm gutted that we didn't get to do it, but I don't regret it. I am absolutely in agony after today. That was no joke that hike. Let's see what everybody's doing. Thank you so much for watching guys and stay tuned for next week where we visit Port Marion and kayak on Lynn Padorn. As always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button and leave me some love in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.